at Indiana Dunes National Park. I believe this is where they filmed the movie. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Dunes? No? Okay. Was it Indiana Dunes and Raiders of the Lost Park? No? Anyone? Bueller? All right, I'll knock the jokes out. Today we're hiking the Cowles Bog Trail. So I put my long sleeves on because usually when you see the name Bog in the name of a trail, that means you're going through a swampy area, which usually means mosquitoes. Got some mosquito spray on too, just in case. This is what's called a lollipop loop trail, which means you kind of walk out straight, which would be the stick of the lollipop, and then you do a loop. Uh, and then you walk back the stick to get back to the parking area. So that's what we're, we're gonna do today. It's about a five mile overall uh, with some sand dunes. I stopped to talk to the park ranger. He said there's a pretty big sand dune with about an 80 foot drop down to the beach and told me not to go down to the beach unless I was prepared to climb up 80 foot of sand. So we'll see what it looks like when we get there. to where the park ranger was warning me about this big drop down to get to Lake Michigan over there and we're slowly making our way down because you kind of have to when you come this far and yeah it's gonna be a probably a tough slog to get up out of here but uh, you can turn around there and walk back the way you came but that's not completing the trail. That's not completing the loop. And I'm a completist, I guess, would be the word for it. So I'm going to have to come down here and have to look out over this beautiful lake and then walk a half a mile down the beach to where the trail picks up again and then hike it back to my car. Mount Burns Harbor. I've had the unfortunate pleasure of working there once or twice. Uh, as long as you're not looking that way, it's a very beautiful scenery. Made it up the dunes. That was definitely a good workout. Got my elevation training in and the, uh, the very softly packed sand added to the challenge. So this is a really cool trail. I didn't expect it to be this cool. Uh, a lot of greenery, a lot of flowers. Of course that great lake view and uh, good workout too. A little bit buggy, kind of lot buggy, but it's, been a beautiful hike. I think I got about two miles left till I get back to my car. So we'll see what that holds for us.
Now the bugs have really picked up now, and I think this is why that I'm guessing is the bog that this trail is named after. Uh, and I'm kind of walking right beside it now. Definitely bugs are on attack. So we picked up the pace a little bit because uh, my bug spray doesn't seem to be phasing them very much. Just about back to the parking lot. That was a fun trail. I ran into somebody on the trail and he told me about something called the Three Dunes Challenge, which sounds intriguing. So we may try that on the way back home. couple different challenges here in this park uh, mostly climbing up sandy dunes this one's a little bit different it's called the Diana of the Dunes Dare it honors a lady known as Diana of the Dunes Alice Mabel Gray and she lived out here in the early 1900s and she loved this area and it's a pretty beautiful area this particular challenge though doesn't really have to do with climbing up uh, loosely packed sand. It's mostly just steps they built to get to the top of this dune. I haven't counted how many, but it's been quite a few. Probably about halfway up now, so definitely a good workout, and that's what I like. We have made it to the top of the Diane Dune Challenge. Uh, looking out here, you can see Lake Michigan. Uh, I believe the Gary, Indiana works steel mill over this way. If you look closely through the fog, that would be Chicago. Probably about 30 miles as the crow flies across the lake. But uh, beautiful views from up here. here at the Three Dune Challenge at Indiana Dunes State Park, not National Park. Kind of confusing as there's two parks of the same name, but one's a state park and one's a national park. Uh, the Three Dune Challenge is an adventurous 1.5 mile trail. Starting at the Nature Center, the winding path will take you through breathtaking views and exhausting inclines. At times, you'll be above the forest canopy and be able to see for miles. Anyways, that is the story of the Three Dunes Challenge, which we are beginning right now. We 
have begun our ascent up the first of the three dunes. Uh, very lightly packed sand, of course. Seems to be normal out here. Very steep. So, it'll be a little slower going until we get to the top of this hill. And then we'll have conquered one of three. Ascent up dune at number two. This one, the sand's a little deeper and the dune is a little bit higher uh, and the sun's a little bit hotter for some reason. <laughs> Just my luck. But we'll make it up here pretty quick and hopefully have some nice views at the top. We are at the top of Dune number two, definitely got the heart rate pumping. One more dune to go, probably about a mile. Got that dune and then the hike back to the parking lot. We're on our way up the third dune. This dune, unlike the other two, has steps going up to it, so I can skip the Stairmaster at Planet Fitness today because I'm going to get my 100 plus floors in just hiking this trail probably. 